Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is DJ CD. We're here the first weekend of March. As you can see, we have a pretty wide selection of tables here. We got long tables, we got round tables. Interesting setup. Never seen the square tables in the middle of it before. Always, all, always all round. And they got a little bit of a mixture of tables. <clears throat> they got set up over here in the corner. This is one of the things that I try not to get my clients to not do is to put them away from the DJ or the actual dance floor. The dance floor is over here. You see, we got two tables in front of us. What I'm going to do is actually going to hide two of the DJ lights underneath the table. And once we have the DJ, uh, the dancing, everything is starting, we'll pull the lights out. See, they got candles here by the, the here by the floor there. And first thing we do when we get to a gig, we canvas the area for plugs, uh, especially when we're doing uploading. So you see, we have a plug each area here, which is good. I hope that's not rain because we've been having downpours of rain, and I'm just now getting here. We don't want to have the uh, bringing in gear and stuff when it's pouring in rain. Looks like we're good on uh, receptacles all around the room. That's good for uploading. Alright guys, see you on the next clip. Practice and enjoy. Alright guys, you saw the before. I can see more better with the, the lights down or dimmed. These are, this is full lighting now. Full lighting. And you can still see the uploading up the wall. So if you want a little accent, these are really bright lights. They look even better and more vibrant in the night when you get the uh, or when you had the light stem down. So we're gonna turn down the lights a little bit. You can see before we turn the lights down, you can still see the light shining. I just want to show you you that. So even you don't get the full effect, but you still get the idea of what up light lighting is. You can see it shines up the very tall of the wall. We had the DJ area there fully covered up in the front. Full DJ facade, you do not see any wires. You don't see that one wire going to the wall. And you have lights shining all around the front there. That'll be the DJ lighting. Alright guys. See you next clip. Right. All right, guys. DJ CD here again. You see, we got a wall full of color. This is uh, probably about 15, 20 feet away from where the light actually is. So we're getting that much wash way over there. You see, we got the up lights all around the room. Really nice. Uh, three lights over there. One over there. Four lights total. And four lights total over here. And then, of course, we have the DJ area also. We got the candles all lit all around the table. So it's really nice. And we got the uh, facade all lit up once again. The DJ booth hides all the wires and everything on that. So it's fully done. We have a band in the corner practicing. They'll be playing. This is uh, new to me, but uh, they'll be taking care of the dinner hour for me. So that's no biggie. We're still playing. But uh, I was scheduled to play jazz and things like that during the dinner music, so they're taking care of the jazz, so she must have uh, picked them up later on, uh, but uh, I was not aware that the band was going to be here. The good thing I sat on this side, because it's perfect for them, a little spot of that side. Uh, we're exactly symmetrical as far as in the room, so it works out pretty perfect. Uh, again, all the lights all around the room. I think it's done really well, and then uh, of course all the candles on the table also makes it uh, adds to the uh, the room layout. I can't put anything over there because they're also doing a uh, buffet coming in out of this this, uh, this area, so I didn't want to put uh, buffet uh, lighting where the buffet tables are. So I stayed away from that area over there. That's why it's dark. But you know, of course on that wall I could have blocked that. Cut away from the van area. They didn't want to mess with my lights, and I uploaded this light also. So the room is still decorated on both sides of the room with up lights. And uh, this, this room, I think, is taken care of 
along with the oh, the all the panels on the table, so really adds for the <coughs> the layout. Also, we got the eclipse on the ceiling there, and then we decided to leave the uh, Mark Manians there on the floor on the signs, and uh, they will shine up on the, the ceiling and around the, the tables and stuff. So uh, our test them, see how they reach, and uh, they look pretty good. So we're gonna leave them right there, so to be out of reach of the uh, the public dancing, and also they because they had the candles and everything, they lit it on the around the, the main table over there. So I stayed away from the uh, the main table like I was gonna do it before, but I still gonna work back there along with the you can see where the eclipse is at right there, and uh, we're shining from way back there, and it's covering the whole entire. This is probably about a hundred foot room here, and uh, and you can see it clearly covers that whole entire ceiling there with, with uh, the dots and things like that. All right, guys, we're trying to get the lighting right. It's one way or the other, <laughs> as you can see. Maybe turn that the lights like that later on tonight. We'll have to see. But everything looks good with the lights off, as you saw, and it really transparent transforms the, the room when you have the lights all around the room like that. So there you go guys. We'll see you on the next clip. Practice and enjoy. Alright guys, so you can finally do the introduction and uh, what they're doing now is actually a combination of the first dance, the mother-son dance, and also the father-daughter dance. And now they're moving into uh, their individual couples now. This song is called Sam Cook. Uh, the artist Sam Cook, nothing can change this love. Well, once again, let's get out there. Congratulations to you guys. You're looking a great couple. We just find our seats. And what we got to do for the dinner time, guys, we got to be escorting you guys out to the makeup tables up there and we're going to call your tables one by one and that way we won't have a big chaos on our hands but we're going to the score team is going to let you guys know which tables to go just so just be patient with us so we can get the lines to the banquet table easily. Anniversary dance, what that is. We're calling the years of everybody's married and uh, 20 years less and so on. We're up to about 20 now, so about to make that announcement. Let's get a good way to get everybody on the dance floor. Play two or three songs and get them on the dance floor and get there and participate in the wedding. Alright, 20 years or less, 20 years or less. Still going strong. That's basically how it is, guys. The anniversary dance. It's a little bit more uh, incorporating than uh, the dollar dance. There you go guys, the anniversary dance. We'll see you in the next clip.